Hi guys and girls on YouTube, many thanks for watching my channel. In this video we're going to be taking a quick look at a nondescript 39 inch TV made by UMC, the Universal Media Company. Um, now you can get this same set with lots of different brands on the front but they all come from UMC. It's a pretty standard problem, uh, the power supply is blown up because the mains reservoir capacitor is open circuit. Um, but uh, now this would be a quick job if we had a service manual but of course with no service manual we're going to have to reconstruct the circuit by looking at a board that's similar uh, looking at the manufacturer's data sheet for the IC so let's just take a quick look at the sat first right so this is the set in question I'll just show you the number on the board um, it's TP MSD 309.BP76 now if we move over there to the main reservoir capacitor um, you can see it's leaking electrolyte so no doubt it's, uh, it's dried up and that's why the power supply is blown um, the first thing we see there is a resistor blown open circuit that will be um, probably in the um, FET uh, for the chopper control which is probably short circuit as well let's turn over the board um, I better take that plastic cover off, haven't I? Right, the cover's off now. Um, as you can see there, we've got a small blow up on the power supply. Uh, lots of surface mounted components gone. Um, we'll also need to change the um, chopper control IC. So the first thing we'll do is we'll get all that cleaned up and then we'll have a look what needs to be replaced. Right, so that's cleaned up really nicely. Um, now um, I've cleaned it up actually and um, I don't know if you can see there but there's a surface mount resistor disappeared um, that was obviously blown anyway so um, the first thing we'll do I've got a board that's very similar but the first thing we'll do so we don't make any mistake is download a data sheet um, for that chip right so the internet says a chip mark 1607B is actually um, an NCP1607 so what we're going to do first is download the data sheet for that chip and then we'll just compare it with the circuit I've got to make sure it is the NCP1607 that we're looking at in the uh, board right actually um, before we go any further I've just realized that that isn't the chopper control I see um, it's the power factor correction um, so if you look there we've got two transformers and here we've got two chopper control um, ICs feeding presumably two MOSFETs to these transformers. So it's the PFC circuit that's blown up, not the actual uh, chopper control. Right now to get to the PFC MOSFET we have to desolder this which I've already done. And you can see... Uh, that's the bridge rectifier, two MOSFETs for these two transformers and the PFC uh, choke, that's the MOSFET there. Now we can see what the number on it is. And uh, also that gives you a better view of the resistor that's gone. Right, so a couple of days later, all the parts have arrived from Farnell's. That's the offending capacitor that caused all the trouble. And uh, if we just take that leg there, you'll see that it's uh, corroded and the leg's fallen off. So, right, I'll just unpack this package and then uh, we'll have a look, make sure all the parts have arrived. Right, well, that's all the parts here. Uh, the only thing is, what they haven't got is the most important thing is the capacitor. Um, so I'm going to have to have a look around. I've probably got one of them in stock somewhere, but it's just a matter of looking. It was a lot easier to just order another one than look. Uh, right, okay then. Let's get all these parts fitted in then. Right, so, so far I've got all the surface mounted components in. Uh, we'll just clean this board up with some flux remover and have a look in a minute. Uh, that's the new MOSFET mount. Um, all I've got to do now is... Um, that's the new uh, 0 0.1 ohm current sensing resistor as well. Just going to mount that back onto there, uh, look for a capacitor, and then we're nearly ready to switch on. 
Right, so I've also taken the decision um, to change this little capacitor here um, because it's a poor quality brand, it's a cap, caps on um, in fact it's the same brand um, as this one that's failed um, now all it does is it decouples the um, supply pin to the PFC controller so I've just changed that as precaution anyway there might be nothing wrong with it um, and if you remember I said that um, when I'd ordered these it was on back order it didn't arrive um, and I've probably got them anyway well I've had a good look around and um, it turns out I've got loads of them um, it's just sometimes easier to uh, order another one than actually go looking for them but anyway loads of them so right let's stick the final cap in we'll clean the board up and then I'll just give you an underside picture of the board right just one last thing I forgot to mention uh, of course the fuse has blown as well um, so I've just changed that for a Wickman um, it's 3.15 amp time delay and um, I've added that to the list as well right so it's just one final job remaining before we test this board um, this cap was originally glued down to the board so I'm just going to put a bit of hot melt glue on there we go and that'll hold it down right so that's the board all cleaned up with flux remover uh, just before we power up I'll run you through a couple of things first um, this resistor here what I've replaced um, you'll see this I put quite a lot of solder on the ends and the reason for that is most of the print was missing underneath um, now there's one other thing uh, RB211 which is let's get these in that's RB211 there um, that should have been um, an 0402 size and uh, when it came I'd ordered the wrong one I'd ordered 0805 um, because it should have been about half that size so what I've had to do is I've had to stretch it over to that transistor there with a bit of solder um, but you can see it fits absolutely perfectly uh, incidentally that little PMP transistor um, is actually connected to these two resistors that was blown um, but I've had that out and I've tested it and it's absolutely perfect so there we go uh, this is the area where it was all black um, right so all that remains now is to put this in the set and um, you can see that's the hot melt glue on the end of that capacitor holding it down uh, we'll power it up um, with a light bulb first right so we're ready to power up bulb in series with the mains I'll flick it on over here and that's the uh, reservoir cap charged up um, as you can see it's blinking because it's only a 60 watt bulb we can't supply enough power to the telly uh, but you'll see there that the standby light's lit so yeah everything's looking good let's remove the bulb now um, it's running in standby and uh, we'll connect it straight to the mains right so we connect it straight to the mains now uh, the set's sitting there in standby we don't have the bulb in series anymore now this is how we check the power factor correction circuits running correctly um, I've just clipped a meter across the main reservoir capacitor and we got 350 volts now when we bring the set out of standby that should rise to about 380, 390 and if it does that, that tells the PFC circuits working so let me just get the button under here and here we go and that's the set come on now I can see the back lights lit uh, we've got 385 volts across the main reservoir capacitor um, that tells us the power factor correction circuit's working and if we look under there um, we've got a blue screen right let's just screw all the set back together and have a look at the picture on it right so there we go the set sitting in standby it's lying on its back because the customer uses it wall mounted and uh, my repair stands in use at the moment I must get round to making uh, making a spare one of those because they're very useful um, but there we go it's in standby 
let's press the button I've got sky connected to it via HDMI that's it red for standby blue for on at 38.7 degrees it was set in Cambridge back in 2019 there's also around a 50% chance that temperatures here in the UK could soar above 40 degrees centigrade on Monday but more likely to be on Tuesday yeah and, and there you go good result right so there we go guys and girls I'll just uh, run over this list and then uh, if you get one of these you've got a complete list of all the parts you need um, let's just zoom in a little bit more and I'll run down it slowly uh, that's the board designation that's the resistance value and that's the size 1202 um, 805 that's the one oh it should have been all 402 ordered it wrong so I had to put a different one in but anyway that's the uh, that's the list let's just run down there nice and slowly and uh, many thanks for watching my channel and uh, I'll catch you in the next video guys and girls alright many thanks on to the next job goodbye